Welcome to CRM Crew, my name is Nick and in today's quick tutorial I'm going to be explaining how to use the Kanban view in the Salesforce CRM. So once you log in Salesforce of course you will come to the home screen. Now in order to use the Kanban view you can use this for any module or any entity inside of Salesforce however I do believe it is best used for either the leads or opportunities uh, entities. The reason being is they've got sales stages and this means that you can differentiate between the stages as the lines. So let me demonstrate for you if we head over to opportunities up the top here and then as you can see we have our list of all of the different opportunities inside of our Salesforce system. Now in order to change the view from the standard view to the Kanban view we want to go to this icon on the right hand side usually located next to the cog item use that drop down menu and then as you can see we can choose the display as now we've got kanban split view and table table is what it's set at, at the moment is is the most common the most regular use uh, use view however if we change it to kanban you can now see that we have got these stages and each stage and under each stage we've got all the records that sit under these stages now you can see why the Kanban view would be really, really useful. Um, it, it's far more engaging, far more interesting. It's far easier to use um, different and uh, use the different stages and the different records relating to those different stages. Now, if we want to drag and drop a a record from one stage to another, it really is as simple as just moving it over. And as you can see, it does all the recalculation, and we can keep moving it across. Um, and using the Kanban view is just a far more interactive way of managing lots of different records, um, especially for opportunities and again leads. And I'll quickly demonstrate if we head over to the leads tab up the top, go to where I said the display as settings and change it to Kanban. You'll now be able to see all the different um, stages for all the different records inside of the Salesforce system. So that is how to use and view the Kanban view in Salesforce CRM. I hope this video has clearly explained how to use the Kanban view in Salesforce CRM. If you do have any further questions, please drop me an email. My details are in the description below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.